All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. We just got this month's V-Jump scans. As always, massive thanks to DBS Hype over on Twitter. I'll be sure to have them linked down below in the description. Without further ado, make sure to drop a like and let's hop straight into it. So the caption does say, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, New Generation Sans, Goten Trunks, Khalifa, KO, Kefla, and Gotenks Reveal. Oh, we have the entire scan right here. So let's just go ahead and break all this down. Of course, I went ahead and got the bootleg Google translation for this so we'll go ahead and see uh what everything says after we go over this initial scan sparking characters file 4 we have new gameplay screenshots as per usual early trunks utilizing finish buster very cool technique right there and it seems like he's transforming into his super saiyan state goten uh again with the super saiyan transformation the animation seems the same as kid trunks i mean i also noticed that with the other sand transformations uh, future Gohan, Future Trunks Sword, and another character, I believe, Super Saiyan Goku. They all have the same Super Saiyan transformation. But we do have Goten utilizing one of his attacks. I believe it's called the Goten Strike. You know how he jumps up and then down and then hits you with his head? And there's confirmation of Khalifa base form. I knew it, I knew it. We just have to wait for, um... Super Saiyan controlled. That's going to be very epic. And down here, oh, oh, yeah, right there. Super Saiyan Khalifa controlled. I told you, I told you. Oh, and and Khalifa Super Saiyan two. I I speculated that. I was I was not sure if they should implement original Super Saiyan Khalifa just because they transformed in the same episode. Y'all remember that? Go back to the character speculation video. Yo, I think I just called that. <laughs> And the controlled mode, just because going uh, off of the official Dragon Ball Sparking Zero website, her name is Super Saiyan Berserk, and Berserk is in parentheses. So this is probably going to be Super Saiyan controlled in parentheses. My speculation sometimes be on point, but here we have the new character models. Oh, Khalifa base form using, using one of her super attacks. Don't necessarily know which one that is. And her Super Saiyan form, she doesn't have green hair it seems though. Do you guys see that? Wait, we have to get this zoom up. Yeah, it, her hair does not seem to be green at all. It, it's just more of the original Super Saiyan color scheme, which is totally fine. Well, I can't necessarily remember. In the anime, was her controlled form green? I'm sure it was. Uh, I wonder why they decided to change that up. I mean, it's somewhat, not really, but kind of reminds me of Z Broly. You know how he has his base form, and in the first movie, when he transforms into Super Saiyan, he kind of had like this cool, suppressed cyan blue color uh, because of the tool that Paragus used to suppress Broly's power. Uh, but in the second DBZ Broly movie, Broly had his original yellow Super Saiyan hair color scheme, right? So that kind of reminds me of this. It seems like instead of the green, they, they're going with the original Super Saiyan hair color. I don't know, man. It, it's, it is what it is. It's fine. Still looks cool. Don't get me wrong. As for Khalifa, yo, the Super Saiyan 2 hair model is top-notch peak modeling. Shoutouts to Bandai Namco and CyberConnect2. Yo, see, see, I, I, I'm just so happy that I kind of speculated that, that I don't think they should include Super Saiyan Khalifa because she literally transformed into Super Saiyan and then Super Saiyan 2 in the same episode, right? Kaba taught Khalifa how to transform into Super Saiyan and then um, Kao transformed. Then Khalifa needed to block an incoming strike. So she had to transform into Super Saiyan 2 because uh, Berserk Mode Khalifa was way too strong. Or Berserk Mode Kao. I'm mixing my words, but you guys know what I'm saying. Yo, that is so cool. So now this leads to the question, are they going to be implementing Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 Kaba? Because I did mention that, well, you know, Super Saiyan Vegeta taught Kappa how to do that during the Universe 6 Tournament Saga. And then eventually he ascended into Super Saiyan 2 in the Tournament of Power. So it makes sense for them to include both of his Super Saiyan forms. Something similar to Kao over here. Super Saiyan Berserk and Super Saiyan Controlled. Hey, 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 yep. Yep, so we have Kefla! Oh, and Gotenks! Oh, look, he forgot about Gotenks, so this is pretty much technically a fusion trailer. Goten, Trunks, confirming their base characters, and then the fusions. Same for Khalifa and Kao. That's cool, that's cool. So first, let's go over here. Uh, what is it? Oh! Oh! Yo, 5 versus 5! The 5 versus 5 game mode is back! It's back! 
but we only have four players on screen. Look at that. All five of them are on screen at the same time. Or all four of them. Yo, no way. I, I, I could just be jumping the gun. Not entirely sure. But it does say five and five at the very right side of the screen. Do you see that? Wait. Wait. Wait just a minute. Yo. Burkhat Tikachi 4 is back. A true sequel. Does this mean we're going to be getting the world tournaments back? You know, the Cell games, Hercule games, the original world tournaments. Potentially a tournament of power. You know, a battle royale type of system where it's like every person against everyone and we can't fly specifically for the tournament power rules, right? That would be so cool. They are cooking. They are cooking. Let them cook, please. Please, come on now. Best Dragon Ball game y'all already know. Anyway, moving over here to the Fusion Warriors. Super Saiyan Gotenks using the Ghost Attack move. Very cool. That's probably his Super Ultimate Attack. Not entirely sure. Can't necessarily remember. But for Kefla. Kefla, her, her, her attack. What is that move? Of course, Ultra Instinct Goku dodged it with the UI Dodge Kamamaha. Probably like the top three coolest Kamamaha in all of Dragon Ball anime, in my personal opinion. But this move right here, it's in Xenoverse 2, it's in Fighters, y'all already know. This is going to be a very cool trailer just because the new 5v5. See? See? Going back to the original Dragon Ball website, remember how they said that... Uh, things are firing up for Sparking Zero. A lot of new info is going to start dropping. We also speculated that to be true as well. We're going to be seeing more game modes. Stay tuned to the channel for accurate speculation sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so that's enough for that. Now we have the English translations over here. No way, this is going to go crazy. So starting at the very top. Uh, so again, these are just rough translations. Uh, so it says Trunks Childhood Super Saiyan, uh, Trunks Childhood base form over there. As for the attack, a high power energy bullet attack and a special move. Attack your opponent from a distance by opening your arms and attacking. Then it says next generation right there or new generation. Um, oh, <laughs> wait, is that supposed to say? Oh, no, it says Saiyans. You can't even see in the back. I thought it was supposed to say uh, bargain sale. Because remember that Vegeta said that? <laughs> What's with all these Super Saiyans? Anyway, I digress. Over here on the right, Saiyans fight regardless of age and or gender. Promising rookies and female heroes go on a rampage in the latest work of Sparking Zero. Of course, Xbox Series, PlayStation 5, y'all already know. As for Goten over here, range, specialized, close combat, Super Saiyan Goten. It says, when transform into a Super Saiyan, attacks will be powered up, of course, for every single character. And we have the Goten Strike right there. Alright, so... Now for Khalifa and Kale. A female Saiyan from Universe 6 participates in sparking for the first time. First appearance in Dragon Ball Super. The spirit and superpower that overwhelms men will be fully uh, demonstrated in this work. Uh, so we have based form and then transformation. We don't have the official name just yet. Stay tuned to the channel because whenever the official translations drop, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Over here on the left, it says, A timid girl who adores Khalifa, long distance, good at attacking, attack by transforming. The defense will be strengthened in a well-balanced manner. Epic, epic. Over here for Khalifa, she is the big sister who rules all the delinquent Saiyans even before the transformation. When you become a human, the firepower of your special moves increase. All right, again, rough translations. <laughs> Not going to be accurate. Over here on the right, um, character introduction, fourth edition, new generation, Saiyan edition, issues, uh, featuring, all right, yeah, nothing too important going on there. Now down here, all right, so five, five, is this the 5v5? Team formation screen, first release. You can do 5v5 team battles. <coughs> Official confirmation. Confirmed. You can do 5v5 team battles. It's back. No way. Warriors in this game win in a 5v5 fashion. Super create your team form. If you have two specific characters on your team, yo, they're bringing that back. I was about to bring that up. Wait, so are, are we only get to fuse when we have the 5v5 system mechanic? 
which makes sense. Something similar to the classic Tenkaichi series. No wonder they confirmed the 5v5, because if they confirmed the Fusion Warriors, then they had to confirm the 5v5 system, because that's how you fuse into the Ascended Warrior. Go tanks, Super Saiyan. Yep, the uh, Ghost Attack. Kefla, Super Saiyan 2. Oh, that's Super Saiyan 2, Kefla. Interesting. Usually, it's just... Uh, one transformation. Well, to be fair, this could be Kefla's only transformation in the game. You know, Fighters and Xenoverse 2, again, she only had the one. Let me know down below what you guys think. I mean, I think getting the Kale, Khalifla, 5v5, and Gotenks, Kefla fusions are like the highlights for today's uh, V-Jump scan. Thank you guys for the immense support, as always. Stay tuned to the channel for everything Sparking Zero, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!